I'm going to explain to you why perimenopause visceral fat is worse than subcutaneous fat, and it's mainly because of where it's stored and what it does to your body. Number one, location difference. Visceral fat is stored deep inside your abdominal, around your organs like the liver, pancreas, and intestines, actually squeezing them, causing interference with how they work. Subcutaneous fat is stored under the skin. It's that pinchable fat on your thighs, hips, arms, or belly. Number two, health risk difference. Visceral fat actually releases inflammatory chemicals that increase your risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, stroke, high cholesterol, and certain cancers. You know that bloating feeling that maybe is getting worse during perimenopause? It's because the visceral fat is releasing inflammatory chemicals into your system. Subcutaneous fat is less metabolically active and mainly a storage of extra calories, excess eating. It doesn't have the same dangerous hormonal effects as visceral fat. Number three, hormonal effects. This is big. Visceral fat messes with hormones, especially the more it grows, like insulin, cortisol, leading to insulin resistance, blood sugar problems, and actually more fat gain, aka belly fat. Subcutaneous fat doesn't disrupt hormones as much. Number four, harder to detect. Visceral fat can hide. Even if someone does appear semi-slim, they may carry high visceral fat and still have serious health effects risk as it grows. Subcutaneous fat is very visible, so people are very aware of it and can measure change easier by watching it. Bottom line is this, visceral fat equals dangerous fat because it's organ fat. Hear that, organ fat. Subcutaneous fat is storage fat under the skin. Both can be addressed through stabilizing blood sugar, regular sleep patterns, exercising not as much, not little, but not crazy, and actually finding a better quality of life through lowering stress, uh, not taking on as much task, and living a better lifestyle.